the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. So let's start by creating a new project. Select WPF app and fill out the project properties. Now let's select the window and change its properties too. So first let's set the allow transparency and then let's change the height to 500 and change the resize mode to no resize and window startup location to center screen. Now let's select the pen tool and draw a shape. Here I am creating a skewed rectangle. Now let's select the uh, direct selection tool and adjust the anchor points. Now select the path and change the color to blue. And also let's remove the stroke. Now use the text block and add the text elements on the form. Similarly, let's add the other controls on the form.
Now let's create three more buttons, three custom buttons. So let's select the button tool and edit its template and edit a copy. Now delete the default template. And on the template, double click on the grid control and also click on the rectangle control. So the rectangle will fill the entire grid. Now change the fill and add an image on top of the rectangle. Now let's select the source for the image control and also adjust its width and height. Now, now that a custom button is ready, uh, let's uh, let's return back to the main window. Before that, let's uh, change the border of the rectangle and go back to the window now and create a copy of the existing button. Looks like the uh, button is quite big, so let's edit the template again. So go back to the template and edit the current template adjust the size of the rectangle and the position of the image on top of the rectangle let's delete the copied uh, button and make two new more new copies now to edit the template, right click and edit a, as a copy and change the image. So now you can change the image source to a different image and similarly make one more copy and this time repeat the same process by editing the copy of the button template and changing its source so let's add some more controls onto the right Now that we are done adding the login controls, let's select all the controls of login and group it and rename it to login. Now let's copy the login grid and make a duplicate out of it. And let's update the copied login controls and convert it into a sign up control. 
so let's update the existing controls into sign up controls All right, now that we are done updating the sign up controls, let's reposition them by selecting all the sign up controls and moving them to the right. And also the other three controls which were on the right to the left. Okay, now let's hide the sign up control, the sign up grid by going to the properties panel and uh, changing the visible property to hidden. So now let's start the animation. So for that, we'll just create a storyboard and on the first keep frame, let's record the initial position of all the uh, three grids and the path. Now on the first key frame, hide the login grid and change the path position. Before that, on the first key frame, uh, let's select the direct selection tool and change one of the anchor points. And now on the consecutive uh, key frames, let's change the position of the rectangle and on the final keyframe um, make the sign up grid visible and also on the final keyframe make the rectangle skewed at the bottom Now let's update the trigger before that let's see the animation in action and now let's add a trigger to it on click of the sign up button so go to the triggers and change the uh, initial trigger to on click of the sign up button so there you go guys our login animation is ready